Welcome to today's Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, Friday 1st, May 2020, The Perfection of the Heart. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Jehoiada of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. Second Chronicles chapter 25, verse 1 to 2. What we just read in our opening team scripture is quite interesting. It says Amazia did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. God wasn't judging the rightness of his action, but the perfection of his heart. His conduct was right, at least God said so, but he lacked heartiness, the quality of hearty sincerity. We find another example in 1 Kings chapter 15, where the king Asa, 1 Kings 15 verse 14, shows a flaw in his actions, which nevertheless didn't dent the perfection of his heart as far as God was concerned. He says, But the high places were not removed. Nevertheless, Esau's heart was perfect with the Lord of all his days. The foregoing shows two people one whose conduct was right in the sight of God, but his heart wasn't perfect with God. And then another one whose conduct wasn't perfect, but his heart was perfect with the Lord. Here is an imperfect heart, a Amazia, doing perfect things, and a perfect heart, Esau, doing imperfect things. But God called Abraham to a higher quality of perfection when he said, Walk before me, and be thou perfect. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1 He was asking for the perfection that walks from within, perfection of the heart that produces perfect actions. That is what we have in Christ. You were born perfect after him with a perfect heart that produces righteousness. He has given you that perfection of heart, that perfection of the spirit. Believe it, affirm it, and act accordingly. Live from your heart, manifesting his virtue and perfection in you to your world. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a dedicated nation, God's own purchase, special people, that ye may set forth the wonderful deeds and display the virtue and perfection of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 prayers. Dear Father, I thank you for the perfection of my heart. I produce righteousness because of the nature of Christ in me. My life is the expression of your glory and excellence, now and always, in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study, 1 Kings chapter 5 verse 14. Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 Amplified Classic 1 John chapter 4 verse 17 Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profit may appear unto all. Have a blessed day.